What up, guys? Kai here, back with another video. Today, I want to talk about race, like gender and nationality. Race is one of the major way human define themselves. Race suggests the biological differences among people. It actually wrong because we are the same. We are human. Racism makes. Numerous human beings suffered in pain, poverty, and disease. But why there are so many racism? Well, I think racism is a human nature. For instance, if you were super rich guy live in a house which has like four thousand feet, would you share a dinner with homeless people who is stinky? I wish I didn't care if cynical hipsters were racism is the same thing. Back to 18th century, a lot of Europeans started to invade the world. They went to Africa, America, and also other different places. And they found out this place have so many resources and lands. They can settle down and have a baby, but they are not that kind of humble people. They want to place their culture, their language, in these new countries instead of learning things from the Aboriginal people. So here comes Eurocentrism. It is literally wise ones who put their civilization in a privileged central position, and they want others see the world in their way. Where Rodney King was getting beat on, and they let off every single officer in Los Angeles when it lost. According to O'Shaughnessy and Stadler, European once believed in European racial superiority. This principle was supported by combined discourse of Christianity, the scientific nationality of Enlightenment, and Darwinian philosophies of evolution. All of which argue that Europeans were more advanced, civilized, and moral than people whom they were colonizing. Well, I have to say thank you, Canada. You brought us multiculturalism. So we just party like it's 1999. Celebrate the ignorance while these kids keep dying. Toronto is well known as a multicultural city. It's been recognized worldwide, actually, for its multiculturalism. We have many, many ethnic groups living here, and、uh, language is spoken. But basically, everybody speaks English. Here we are in Korea Town, also known as Little Korea. There are over 50,000 people of Korean origin living in the Toronto area. The area is filled with shops, restaurants, and you'll find all kinds of excellent baked goods here. Now we are just west of the city center in Toronto's Chinatown. The Chinese population in Toronto is considerable, several hundred thousand. Chinatown in downtown Toronto is a major shopping area with all kinds of food shops, restaurants, jewelry stores. You name it, you'll find it in Chinatown. But on a Sunday, this is where I come to get my dumplings. Today we have over 30 different kind of dumplings, steamed, fried. Normally we make maybe over five thousand to ten thousand a day, seven days a week. When do you take a holiday? No holiday. When was the last holiday you had? My holiday? Oh, I didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are in the heart of Toronto's little Italy. This ethnic community got established early in the 1900s. There are several Italian business districts, but Little Italy is the oldest and the best established. If you want a great cup of coffee, Little Italy. If you want to enjoy a great glass of wine, Little Italy. Great soccer game on a patio, Little Italy. We're a Sicilian Southwark Cafe, part of Sicilian ice cream. We've been here for 50 years. We、we'll、make good ice cream. I think we're going to make it for another 50 years, maybe. <laughs> I think this is the best in Toronto. <laughs> you want to try some ice cream? Yeah, please. In the term of multiculturalism, we can celebrate, integrate, and include all the different cultures as a part of whole national culture. I can drink Taiwanese bubble tea in the early morning, and have lunch in the great restaurant, and then eating burgers in an Americanish burger shop like McDonald's. 
Imagine if we don't have multiculturalism in Canada, what the restaurant would be. I think, as a nation, I would be like disgusted, judged, and even discriminated if I went to McDonald. Even though we have a great system in Canada, but still, after colonization, a huge number of Africans suffering in AIDS. As textbook states, haven't we taken enough? Africa spent approximately 13.5 billion dollars per year paying their debts. It's almost twice than the amount they spend on healthcare. Race is no inaccurate determination. We are the same. We are human. There's no race. Throw those racism away. Throw those advanced culture thing away. Integrate with different people and make the world a better place.